there's some like that's my wife, so I can do a merge. That well, it's <laughs> my baby. I could probably do a merge on there. Um, like this is my baby, probably earlier years. It doesn't quite realize that's him. Uh, but here's one that doesn't have a name. I don't think he's named it here. This guy's Thomas Boyd. He's a buddy of mine. He's a photographer. Uh, and I don't think. Let's see here. No, it doesn't look like I've named him anywhere else. So this might well be the only picture that I have of him. But I look at this picture and I go, okay, well that's that's Thomas. I can double click on this. And it shows, well, that's definitely not Thomas there, so there's that one picture of him, but that's fine. Well, we can get rid of that later. Uh, but let's just go back in here, and I'm gonna say, right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna name that. So I type, I tap on the plus name, and I start typing in his name, and it is going to take its time to search my database. And it is looking for, there we go, it is looking in my address book. And it has found him, and I click on that, and that's it. That's, that's all there is to it, nice and straightforward and simple. Click on the add name, start typing a name, it's going to pull from your address book. It doesn't have to be someone in your address book. You can name it, you know, whatever, something, somebody who's not in there, but it is pulling that up just so that it has that contact info all kind of brought together. So you don't have to do that, but it pulls it up automatically if you've got them in there. Okay, so there's, there's that one. Um, so there's one way to do it. Let's look at, let's look at this one here. So this is this guy, Zachary. Here's another picture of Zach right here. And incidentally, I want to point out that setting up for a demo like this is really, really hard without some kind of really perfectly built database for a demo. So there's a lot of, I don't know if something's going to work right, I don't know what's inside of it because I couldn't test it before because then it wouldn't be there for me to do for the demo. So if it seems a little bit kludgy, that's why. There's a lot of, there's a lot of weirdness like that. I mean, there's a lot of stuff like that where I just, I can't really prep for it. So just do, bear with me. Okay, so here, this is, this is Zach right here and there's Zach. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this and I wanna merge this on. I can just drag this on and you can see how it's kind of pulsing behind there. I can let go of that, and it says, is this also Zachary? And I can hit yes. Before I do that, though, I don't want to do that right now because I want to show you that you can actually do this on iOS as well, which is pretty cool. So let me get this system up here. Um, get that up. There we go. Okay, so here we are. I'm going to go into people. We should see essentially the same database of people. I mean, it should be the same. There's a syncing thing. You see it down at the bottom. This is updating people to finish updating, lock your iPad and connect it to power. So since I've made changes to this somewhere, they haven't all synced across. It's, it will eventually, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so here, let's find that same people. There he is, there's Zach. So I'm just tapping and holding on that. And I can, now you see it pulsing back there. I can do the same thing. Is this Zachary? I'm gonna hit yes and it merges them together. Now we're gonna find out here, let's go over to the Mac real quick. Um, I don't know how quickly this is going to sync, but there's that picture that I dragged in, there's the one of Zach, and I don't know, at some point in the nearest future, hopefully those will actually come together here. So we'll, we'll just let that kind of run its course and see if it shows up later on today, uh, later on in, in the demo today. So there's some basics on there. All right, so let's say you've been doing that, you've been naming some people, and I'm gonna open up the picture of myself just because we don't really need to, subject too many of my friends to, uh, to public ridicule here. And you scroll through and you go, okay, those are these pictures of, of the people there. And you notice these pictures are kind of zoomed out and there's, it's showing the whole picture. Up here on the top right, it says photos and faces. And if I click on faces there, it is going to zoom in all those pictures and just show the face. So this can be a good way to quickly go through a ton of pictures if you're just looking for a particular photo of someone, you wanna find a really good photo of someone, you wanna find, um, you're looking for ones that aren't that person, you know, now I've got a bunch of close-ups of that person, I go, well, that's not me, and get rid of that, and that sort of thing, so you can do that as well. Um, but it's just nice to be able to have that quick toggle between photos, the whole photo, and the faces view. Estro Digital says, does it know Sean Mark Nipper and Sean Robinson? It does, uh, photos knows everyone. And if you're wondering how it knows the difference, it's because I named one the full name. Like I attached it, attached it to the address book. And if I just name somebody, actually, this, I don't know if this is, and has anything to do with what you're saying, but it's a good point. If I have two different people named Sean and I just give it the first name, it does keep those as separate Seans. It doesn't immediately go, oh, you already know a Sean, it must be the same Sean. It recognizes that there are more than one Sean in the world. So it's not going to just try and merge that together. Okay, so let's go back to the photos view on this, a little bit wide picture. And you scroll down and there's a bunch of pictures. Obviously not every single photo of me in here, but there's a bunch in there. You go down to the bottom, you keep going, you get down into groups and people. So it shows kind of associated people. These are those relationships it's finding in there. And, and it goes, oh, look, here's you know, pictures of these two people together, that sort of thing. So if I open that up, it's gonna go, look, together. And there's me and Sean together. That's kind of cool, right? It just automatically does that. And then there's the little separated ones there. Let me back up. Um, let's see here. There's the show more. So, oops, I, just, I didn't go back far enough. Let's go back here a little bit farther, back up. There we go. Um, in some cases You've just watched a five minute sample of a live training video. 
To see the rest of it, head to photoapps.expert slash live where you can purchase and download it or sign up as a member. Members can stream any live training video as often as they like and have access to video tips and other exclusive member bonuses. To learn more about membership, head to photoapps.expert slash member.